Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris here. Cheers. Hey, so first off, I uh, just want to say thank you to everybody who's been checking out my videos on the Pico Brew. Um, I really do appreciate that. Gotten a lot of nice comments, so thank you again for that. And then I do plan on doing some more videos, um, which is what brings us here today. Um, I actually had a video shot and was in the middle of editing it um, about the fittings I got for my Therminator to hook up to the Pico Brew Z. Um, also my new uh, brew cart that I've been pushing around the unit on. So I was working on that. And unfortunately the old uh, Commodore 64 here decided it uh, wasn't gonna hack it anymore running Adobe Premiere Rush. So what I did, if you can see right here, is I picked up a big pile of computer parts from Amazon And I uh, plan on turning it into a budget, cheap, whatever you want to call it, uh, video editing computer. I used Matt Johnson's build here on his uh, budget $700 video editing PC build. Uh, all the parts were under 700 bucks, so definitely worked better than my old 2010 i3 HP computer tuned by Cobb in World Rally Blue. Uh, one thing I did want to try with this build is uh, something I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do. And uh, let's see what works here. Um, so today we're going to take this pile of parts and turn it into this. Uh, it's not working. Um, sorry. This is actually just a pile of empty boxes anyway. It goes all there. This is actually the PC that's already built. Uh, I put it together earlier. So let's go ahead and uh, get to it. If you guys want to check out uh, me fumbling around trying to put this thing together and you know, hopefully it works. Uh, we don't know yet, so, you know, maybe if you're watching this, it's working. Maybe I edited this video on that. Who knows? Movie magic. All right, let's get to it. Drinking some Uinta 801 non-lime Pilsner today. So, tasty. Cheers. So I went with the, uh, the same parts that Matt recommended for his budget build, um, video editing computer, uh, maybe some slight differences. Um, I picked up this thermal take, um, makes the juice <laughs> power supply. That's the word he recommended EVGA bronze 500 watts. Um, the did point out the important parts were 80 plus and a five-year warranty. So that's what I picked up. This Thermal Take one was like $37 on Amazon. All the parts I picked up from Amazon um, get in two days. Why not? So there's that. Here, watch that, Sam. The AMD Ryzen 5 2600, uh, six core, 12 thread. It's the non-X version. It was on Amazon for $147, so not too bad there. The motherboard I'm using is this uh, MSI B40A Pro, um, which is the one that Matt recommended for his build. Um, for a video card, the uh, GTX 1050Ti, which I had, in my cart originally and then uh the <laughs> sam didn't like it oh, come on this isn't about you sam um he originally recommended the uh gtx 1050 ti um or the radeon i think he recommended the the 580 um 
I found this one on Amazon. It was actually about 12 bucks cheaper than the 1050 Ti. Um, and it is actually a, so an eight gigabyte card versus a four gigabyte card, like the 1050 Ti I was looking at. It's also a dual fan right here. So looks cool. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I think my last computer had like the onboard motherboard graphics or whatever was built in for HP, I don't remember. It worked great for the last nine years. Um, got a 500 gigabyte SSD from Crucial. I've built computers before, but uh, not since this small chip SSD drive's been available, so I don't really know how long that's been out, but uh, that's new to me, so kind of cool. Corsair Vengeance, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So, I think this was uh, $79 on Amazon. The uh, SSD was 60 really inexpensive and also the nzxt h500 case um i originally planned on getting the matte black one but uh it was 10 bucks more and did not have prime shipping whereas the white one was it was 69 70 bucks and had the free prime shipping so that all showed up at the same time so it's white, it's cool. Um, my wife said it looked like a stormtrooper. So I don't really, I'm not that into Star Wars. But one of these little stretchy wrist strap things to, I guess, keep down static electricity so you don't zap all your components while you're putting it together. So I don't know, I've built computers before and never used one, but uh, seems like it's recommended, so. There we have it.